the mail, the testes, the ras all of those structures. Testes, ras deferens, seminal <coughs> canal, seminal vesica, prostate gland, pelvis gland, and you should know what's the contribution from each structure. And then for the female, you should know the ovary, the uterus, right, the fallopian tube, the cervix, the vaginal area. And a lot of times, students always confuse the bladder from the uterus. So don't make that mistake. You know that this one right here, the one immediately next to the pubic bone, and you see the rugae, right? The rugae should give it away. That's the urinary bladder. It's no different from the uterus, okay? Then, so you're going to make slides, uh, show me this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This worth 40 points. For the male testes, again, it's individual. I want you to show me the tubule. Use your yellow objective meaning 100x, okay? And then once you identify, play around it, you look at it under the 40x and also the, the 400x, just so you know. But in the test case, what I want you to point out is the seminiferous tubule. Be sure you know which one is tubule. And then most of the cells there that you see are the spermatocyte. You can identify some cells that are dividing, very prominent chromosomes. You see that? That's a spermatocyte undergoing meiosis. Then there's Sertoli cells here, but it's really very difficult to identify the Sertoli cells. So in the lab exam, if the pointer is pointing here, you know the questions are related to the two cells in there, the sperm cells and the Sertoli cells. I am not going to ask you identify the Sertoli cell because it's difficult. But maybe I'll point to these cells with the, sper with the tail. You should know that those are sperm cells. Maybe I can find a nice dividing cell right here. Those are all your sperm cells the spermatocyte that's undergoing meiosis, okay? And then next, you're going to point to the space in between. The space in between is the interstitial cell, as interstitial space where you can find the interstitial cells of lighting, like right there. There's red cells here, those red cells, you know they're blood, so don't point to that one. Just point to the space, the interstitial, space the point the purpose of you identifying those two is for you to be familiar with the slide of the testes and be familiar with the seminiferous tubule that contains the sperm and the sertoli cells and the space in between that has the lydic cells which will be the ones that use cholesterol to make testosterone that's it very easy for the testes slide so this morning, this was the last one that they did. They did their cat work. And then next, oh, I'm sorry. Next one, for the ovary, this is labeled for you. Be sure you properly identify each part of the ovary. I use that a lot for the lab exam. On Wednesday, we're going to review, but we're also going to go over all of the, there's so many models for chapter 29, which is still in the cabinet. So you're going to take a look at them on Wednesday. But here you see it's labeled for you, okay? So be sure you know which one is which because they have different chromosome count, right? Primordial follicles are diploid. They still contain 92 chromosomes. And then by the time you get to the secondary oocyte, secondary oocyte means it contains 46 haploid. And it's arrested at metaphase two of meiosis two, okay? So then you're going to get a slide of the ovary, okay? You have to identify a primordial follicle for me. How do you know you're looking at primordial follicle? If you see the follicle cells, simple squamous epithelium is black. And then you see 
This is primary follicle because the follicle cells become cuboidal. And then look at the secondary follicle. There's several layers of cuboidal cells plus there's fluid separating them. That's a secondary follicle, okay? There's a ton of primordial follicles, especially if you have a young ovary. <coughs> then next, oh my God. Next, identify the uh, uh, graphian follicle. You see these follicle cells, they're secreting fluid to push the egg towards one end so that you can ovulate that. So this is the one that's at metaphase two of meiosis. There's another graphian follicle. Can somebody tell me what's this? Uh, yes, see your second prim prim primary primary follicle, right? It's simple cuboidal epitome. What's this? Second primary uh, follicle. What's this? Graphian, graphian follicle. Okay. And identify a corpus luteum. So in the test. You, you have to think of two answer choices. Will I choose corpus luteum or corpus albicans? If the question is, this is still making hormones, then you say that's corpus luteum. If I say this is no longer using cholesterol, it's no longer making hormones, then you switch your answer to corpus albicans. Right? Can you identify what this is? What kind of follicle? Secondary, Secondary follicle, because there's a space. You see there's fluid, right? Okay, what are these? This primordial. one, those are primordial follicles. They're all right. By the way, what do you think is the tissue type of your sex organ? Sorry, from the testes. What is the tissue type? You have four. Is it epithelium or muscle or connective or nervous tissue? What do you think? Epithelium. It's epithelium. Your, your um, sex organs, the testes and the ovaries are actually referred to as germinal epithelium. Okay? So that's what you're going to get busy with today. Open up your cats. Then look at the, maybe you can reserve the models after you're done with the microscopy. But start with the cat. Use your bone feathers. Be Do we sure need to wear your gowns, lab coats. Do we need to fill out a piece of paper and have you sign it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lab coats.